join me so that we can read books all about dance. And today we have a bit of a Halloween theme um, and coming from the Angelina Ballerina series, Angelina's Halloween. Ooh, they look as though they might be, might be out trick or treating. And this book is written by Catherine Hollibird and illustrated by Helen Craig. Angelina loved the excitement of Halloween. She loved dressing up, trick or treating and spent hours with her best friend Alice thinking about wonderful costumes. At last they decided to be dancing fireflies and drew beautiful pictures of wings and tiaras. Angelina's little sister Polly wanted to join them. Look at this, she kept saying, showing them her funny scribbles. Mrs Mouseling helped them make the delicate costumes and when the wings and tiaras were done, Angelina and Alice practiced flying around and around the cottage. Polly tried to fly too, but kept crashing into Angelina's wings. <sighs> Why do you always have to copy me? Angelina stamped her foot. Polly hung her head. I want wings, she cried. You're too little, explained Angelina. But you could be something really scary. Mrs. Mousling found a sheet and Angelina showed Polly how to be a spooky Halloween ghost. On Halloween evening, Angelina and her friends played scary games and Mrs. Mousling made them a bubbling witch's brew and delicious goblin biscuits. When Mr. Mousling came home with an enormous pumpkin, the two fireflies and the little ghost gave him quite a fright. After the party, Angelina and her friends set off together with their trick or treat bags. Don't forget your sister, called Mrs. Mousling, as the little ghost trundled after them. They raced each other to the general store and sang a song about spiders and bats to Mrs. Thimble, who had a great collection of Halloween sweets. Then they went to scare Miss Lily, the ballet teacher, who waved her wand and gave them each a lollipop. They were about to play a Halloween trick on Mr. Hodge, Mrs. Hodgepodge, when all of a sudden, boom! Two red devils leaped out at them from behind the an apple tree. Angelina wasn't fooled and quickly recognized Spike and Sammy. We're not scared of you, she laughed. I'll bet you're scared of that house, teased Spike, pointing up the lane. It's haunted. Angelina skipped off towards the dark building and banged loudly on the door. Trick or treat, she called. There was no answer. Let's go inside, whispered Spike and Sammy. Inside the house was strange and shadowy. They tiptoed around very slowly. Ouch! Alice stubbed her toe. Angelina shivered and then something lumpy bumped into her. Help! she shrieked and they all scrambled outside. In the dark garden a weird sound stopped them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch out for witches Alice warned everyone. They peered all around and then Angelina saw a ghostly shape struggling in the blackberry bushes. <sighs> it's only Polly, she sighed, dragging the little ghost out of the prickles. Now stay with me, she scolded. After that, Angelina kept her eyes on the little ghost and they went trick or treating through the neighborhood, filling their bags with delicious sweets. As the moon rose high in the night sky, the village band began to play and everyone came out to join the grand costume parade. The whole village was dressed up in marvellous costumes. The two fireflies seemed to float off the ground as they danced along with the little ghost, jumping beside them. There they are dancing. And I think that's Miss Lily, the ballet teacher. At the end of the evening, Miss Lily proudly handed out prizes. The two fireflies and the ghost win a special award for Halloween dancing, she announced. Hooray, shouted the ghost, leaping up and down. But you're Henry, gasped Angelina. Where's Polly? 
Angelina dashed up the street to Mrs Thimble's general store, but all the village shops were closed. She ran to Mrs Hodgepodge's cottage, but nobody was home. Then a fuzzy monster skipped by. Have you seen a little ghost? Angelina asked, but the monster shook his head sadly. Angelina raced up and down through all the streets of the village until at last she reached the haunted house where she found Polly sitting on the steps, sharing the goodies from her trick or treat bag with her little friends dressed as wizards. My tummy feels funny, Polly whimpered. Angelina shook her head. You shouldn't eat your sweets so fast, she said. Anyway, you really scared me. Did I? Polly smiled. On the way home, Polly held Angelina's hand. Next Halloween, can I be a firefly just like you? She asked. Next Halloween, I think I'll be an acrobat, said Angelina. Can I? Polly began. Be an acrobat too? First, I'll have to show you some of my tricks, Angelina smiled. And the very next day, she did. Do you like dancing and doing acrobatic tricks? I do, I love dancing and I know that my kids love doing lots of different acrobatic tricks. Well, what a fun story about Halloween. And maybe after reading this book, you would like to go and do a spooky Halloween dance class because I've got one of those on the YouTube channel. That could be a lot of fun. I think we dance as a ghost and as a black cat. Some fun Halloween dancing there. Well, I can't wait till the next story time. And until then, I'll see you. Bye, have fun reading and dancing.